Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to Deborah's Journey. My name is Deborah, and today I'm going to be sharing my April 2024 budget with you. So let's go through the numbers and see how much money I'm going to be spending this month, what my categories are, and if there are any changes. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy my content, and if so, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a part of the family. Well, I think April is a wonderful time. It's the second quarter of the year, and it's time to start looking to see if you've reached your goals, if your goals are realistic, and if they're not, make some adjustments. It's also a great time to start thinking about the summer and what you're going to be doing, because it's only in a few months. But if you're going to be traveling, you want to have money saved up, and any other future expenses, now is the time to start really buckling down and doing your best to save and put money towards your goals. So let's get started. It's the actually one of my favorite times of year is spring. I love spring. I love the weather. I don't love the allergy part of it, <laughs> but I do love the weather. We've had a lot of rain. It's actually raining this weekend. But I hope this will be the last of it, and then we'll start enjoying some nice weather and um, sunshine for the next month or so. Okay, so for April, I am going to be budgeting for my payroll and any sinking funds I pull money from, any challenges that I do, and extra funds, $8,600. And it is tax time, guys. That's right. I'm going to have to pay taxes. And I don't know the exact number yet because I have not done my taxes. You know, when you get a tax refund, of course, you're going to do them early. But when you have to pay, yeah, I always wait till the last minute. <laughs> That's just what I do. But I'm I'm going to be budgeting $1,700, and I hope that's enough. And then I'm going to pull $25 from my rollover funds for this budget. So all in all... I am going to be budgeting $10,325 for this month's budget. All right, so let's go to our fixed expenses. So for housing and utilities combined, I am budgeting $1,805.76. For my giving, I do not share the amount. I just put it here as a placeholder because I do give and I pay offerings to my church. Okay. So for car insurance, I'm budgeting $126. For Spectrum Internet, I'm budgeting $76.99. It was $75, but it looks like that um, particular bill went up. But now it's $76.99. Okay. For my life insurance, I'm budgeting $65. But I think one of the insurances, because this is a combination of two, is going up slightly, maybe no more than $5. I just don't have the number right now, um, but I'm going to just keep it as it is, and then I'll make the adjustments when I do my budget closeout. On to my TV service, $80. And more and more, I'm thinking about, should I cancel that. <laughs> $80 when I don't really watch TV that much. And also, I have um, a Samsung smart TV, and there's a TV service already on there that has tons of channels. The only reason I keep this is because my dad stays with me half the month. So my household is myself, my son, my dad is here half time, and I have a puppy, a fur baby. And so that is the makeup of my home or my family. And I know he likes to watch the news and different things. So right now I'm keeping it, but it just, eh, it just bothers me that it's so expensive when I don't really use it enough to pay for it. Okay, Xbox is a subscription my son has, it's $7.99. I get the money from him. It's on my credit card. Sirius XM is my 
radio, uh, satellite radio service, that's $850. Apple Storage is $299. Apple Care is $1150. Google memberships, which are YouTube memberships, $12. Uh, I designate $55 for my son's cell phone. And then for my cell phones, I have two phones, $144 is set aside for that. Total fixed expenses are $2,395.73. So for groceries. Now, I have never budgeted this much for groceries. I usually budget around $500, $450. But I am convinced there's nothing we can do right now about these grocery prices because they just keep going up. And I'm tired of trying to think I'm going to spend less money on groceries when it's the other way around. I need to just budget more. And if I don't use all of this money, then I can start to maybe it decrease the amount. But for now, and especially because my dad is with me part time, I am going to just keep it at 700 for the month and we'll see what happens. For myself, I'm budgeting 125. For gasoline, I budget 420. Um, I don't know how much the gas is in your area, but we're paying about $5 and some change again. So our gas prices have snuck up again. And it's incredible how after it seemed like it was 2021, maybe, everything got more expensive and it continues to get more expensive. And I don't see prices going down anytime soon. All right, medical expenses, $8, and that was for um, a possibly a refill of a prescription that I have. So I will, I'm thinking I'm going to have to refill, just not sure yet, but I just put that there anyway, just in case. A miscellaneous gift, I am planning to give a gift for a special occasion, so I'm going to be budgeting 100 for that. Fast Track is a freeway service, and I have have the service, but I have not been using the service because it takes sometimes 20 minutes to get on the Fast Track, and I'm trying to save time. And so I'm only saving five to 10 minutes. So I'm thinking it's not worth it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it, but I don't think I'm going to be budgeting 40. I'm just going to lower it to 20. We'll see what happens because I do use it from time to time. But yeah, it's interesting. You're trying to save time and you pay for it, but you're not really saving any time. That's what I have a problem with. And I'm not going to pay for something like that. Then I have regular monthly yard maintenance. I am budgeting $50 for that. Um, for oil change, it is time for an oil change. And it's about 150, 155. So I'm going to budget 155 for that for my car. Um, the pet's grooming. Now, the grooming was supposed to happen in March. The last weekend of the month, it has been stormy. So I decided to change the appointment to next week. So it's going to be the first weekend in April. House cleaning, that's a standard 100. I'm still trying that out to see if that's a good price. It's going to probably be more, but for now, I'm just going to leave 100 as a placeholder. Gift away, my gift away for April, I'm budgeting $75. Taxes, yes, it is time for taxes. These are income taxes, and I do have a portion of property taxes I have to pay. So $1,700, that is a lot of money that I have to put towards taxes. And like I said, it may be more than this. I'm not sure yet, but I'm not going to um, take a chance, but I'm going to just keep it at this amount. And I do have some extra money that I've been saving for taxes in case I end up having to pay more. But that is what I'm going to put 
so far for the month of April. So we'll see what happens. All right, eating out. Now, I tried to do a $100 budget for eating out, and it just didn't work. $200 is more realistic. I do eat out a lot because of my schedule. I do work late, and a lot of times I don't have time to prepare food, so I will go and eat out. I'll pick up something, bring it home, and so I'm going to be budgeting $200 for the month for that, and then my buffer is just any category that I have not named, but I'm going to be spending money throughout the month for different things. It's going to be on that. I do know I am going on an outing with some of the ladies at my church, and that is in April. We're going to go to one of the museums out here, and I'm really looking forward to that because I have wanted to go to this museum for a long time. So that will be very exciting. I'm going to use that. It's going to come out of my buffer. So any expenses for that. So the buffer is just, again, extra money for things that come up throughout the month. All right, so my total variable I'm expected to spend is $3,938. Okay, so let's go to debt. So for my Discover credit card, I'm gonna budget 150. For my Sam's Club, $200. Wells Fargo's credit card, $25. My car payment is $550. My student loan, I'm going to budget $800. I'm really concerned that I may end up having to just pay the minimum because of taxes, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and just keep the $800 there. And then the personal loan is $302.30. So my total debt payments for the month of April are $2,027.30. If I didn't have debt, I just sometimes imagine what I would do with that much money. It is so important to sometimes ask yourself, is it worth it paying all the debt? And what can you do once your debt is gone? You can have so much more freedom with your money. And that is my plan. So I'm just working on it slowly but surely and hoping to get there within the next couple of years. Okay, my investments. All right, so I'm going to be adding $50 to my Vanguard account. I'm going to add $25 to SoFi. Fidelity gets $25. M1 Finance, I'm going to be setting aside $100 for that account. And I'm a little bummed because I think this month they're going to start charging a fee to use their platform. So I believe it's $3 a month. We just hope the other platforms don't follow suit and start charging us to use their platforms because that is kind of what I'm concerned. It seems like it takes one company to do something and then shortly after everybody else copies. <laughs> so we'll see. And then I have my Roth of $200. So my total investments are $400. One of the things I would love to do is take that $2,000 in debt. Can you imagine if I could put $2,000 in my investments? That would be incredible. That's why it's so important to pay off the debt. Okay, savings. So I'm going to be setting aside $275 to go to my savings account. Uh, I'm setting aside 450 for my challenges, my 100 envelope challenge, 150. So $875 going to my savings accounts. And then my sinking funds, I'm going to send $680 to my Lifesaver funds, which is what I call them. And so that's 680. So when I get my final total of what I think I'm going to be spending, for the month of April, I plan to spend $10,316.03. Now, this is probably going to be more because 
There was a couple of categories I forgot to add, and I just realized that those are going to be expenses in the month of April. So it's probably going to be more than 10300 but again, it may be less. Maybe there's another category that I'll actually save some money on. And that's the beauty of doing a budget. You just write it out. It's your roadmap. It's a template, but it doesn't mean it's going to be exactly followed to the penny. You can make adjustments here and there, and then you can use that information for the next month's budget in hopes that you'll get a little better each time. So don't be afraid to do your budgets. I hope everybody has started their April planning. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for my April budget. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you again at the end of the month for my monthly recap. Take care. Bye.